the privilege and honor of introducing Metro Council President David Bragdon at this time. He's over a decade of public former Native Honorary Chair of the Jury, and five titles on Amazon.com. Metro Council meeting and say, you wouldn't believe that was going to take place. But here we all are. This is the kind of region that we want to have. This is about the kind of region we want to have, where we have urbanity and nature in harmony with each other. And this is also the kind of organization we want to have at our agency, where we're inspiring people, bringing out the best in both urban living and natural areas. And that's, that's what we're about. Stacy, uh, just thank you many people. And Corey, thank many people. You know, we are one of the government organizations that does not does not have a designated sustainability officer. And the reason that we do not is that every single employee in our agency, including the seven of us on the council, all of us are the sustainability officers for our agency. I can thank a lot of people tonight, but. There are two who are really the heroes in this. Stacy Triplett is one that you just heard from, and Corey Hardin is the other one.
combination of energy and vision and capability. Um, and you should all be very excited about your regional public agency because they're doing excellent work. This is my good friend Josh Sarah. I teach architecture at the University of Oregon. Uh, 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 a year and a half ago, Stacy approached Francis Brunette, who's the Dean of the School of Architecture and Allied Arts, and asked if there was a faculty member who might be able to help out with this effort, and thankfully she thought of me. When I met with Metro, I said, I can do the neighborhood part of nature and neighborhoods, but if you want the nature part, you have to hire a project ecologist as well. And they, they thought that was a good idea. So that the, the competition designers, let's say, we're an integrated team, and I really think that's a good way to lead into a competition which is fundamentally about learning how to collaborate effectively in creating a more sustainable and healthy build and natural environment. The way that we would like to do this, uh, we're going to introduce the jury members in a moment, and we'd like to ask the jury members to raise their hands when we talk about their background. Uh, we're then going to have the individual jury members come up here and talk for just a couple minutes each, not about the award-winning schemes, but rather about the general uh, impressions of the competition, what the ideas were behind it, and you know, what kinds of things this might lead to. Following that, teams of jurists will talk about the individual awards in the three different categories that we have. So, the jury. Uh, I'm going to start with Stefan Banish. Uh, Stefan. Thank you, Stefan. <laughs> Stefan is the principal of Danish Architects in Stuttgart, Germany. They also have offices in uh, Boston and Venice, California. And they have an incredibly rich history of design excellence and in combination with the commitment to sustainability. And there are numerous projects that we can talk about. Um, the Genzyme Center in Boston, for example, which was a lead platinum project that was completed a couple of years ago. So I'm asked, people can't hear me, so if, and they're in the third row, so maybe we could Pipe down for just a couple of minutes. Thank you. And Stefan also uh, was recently commissioned by Harvard for a, a very large and impressive science center. And the quote I will share with you is Stefan's goal in all the projects at Danish Architects is to connect the forces of human life in the natural environment. And this fuels the design of every commission that they uh, take on. He also happens to be a professor at Yale, and he's a frequent lecturer across the uh, Germany, Europe, the United States, and the world. And he was the keynote at the 2006 Green Build Conference, for example. Next uh, jurist I'd like to introduce is Susan Sinazzi. Where's, where's Susan? <laughs> Susan is the editor-in-chief of Metropolis Magazine. She's the professor of design ethics at the New York at New York's Parsons School of Design. She's on the board of numerous organizations, including the Council for Interior Design Accreditation, uh, the Fashion Institute of Technology Interior Design, the Center for Architecture Advisory Board, the Landscape Architecture Foundation, and she also has honorary doctorates from both Kendall College and the Art Center College of Design. She was also the August Hecksher Award recipient for Community Service and Excellence. We'd also like to introduce our, our Portland resident on the jury, James Winkler. <laughs> president of the Winkler Development Corporation. And you're probably familiar with a lot of his work, but he was re responsible for the conversion of the Best Kaiser Hospital into the North American headquarters for Adidas Solomon. Um, the newly op opened downtown Portland Art Hub, DeSoto, the Troutdale Terrace Apartments, 
and the Headwaters Project featuring a mixed income, pedestrian friendly neighborhood, and daylighting of a very tributary of Tryon Creek. And now I'm going to introduce my friend Josh Serra, ecologist with Herrera Environmental Consultants here in town, who's going to introduce the other three jurists. A lot of great faces here today. Thanks everybody for coming. Uh, some great introductions. I have three more. I'd like to start uh, with Joan Iverson Nassauer. Uh, she's a professor of landscape architecture at the University of Michigan School of Natural Resources and the Environment. Uh, she is also the author and editor of over, of over 60 publications, including a new book with Mary Santolin and Don Scavia titled From the Corn Belt to the Gulf, which focuses on ways to improve water quality and biodiversity in agricultural landscapes flowing into the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, Joan, Joan Iverson Nassar has over nine titles on Amazon. Her current research continues in landscape ecology and landscape perception. Next, I'd like to introduce uh, Tom Schuler. Tom, are you out there? Tom Schuler is the founder of the nationally recognized Center for Watershed Protection, which he has been directed for 15 years. Tom Schuler has written more than 20 widely used references and manuals, including the Small Watershed Restoration Manual Series, The Practice of Watershed Protection, The Rapid Watershed Planning Handbook, and the Impacts of Impervious Cover on Aquatic Systems. Tom Schuler is an old hand, also an old hand in regional government from his time in the nation's capital as a metropolitan Washington Council of Governments, where he led the Anacostia Watershed Restoration Team over the first efforts to comprehensively restore an urban watershed. Some of work. Okay, that's Tom Schuller. And lastly, I'd like to introduce David Yucca. David, are you in the crowd? <laughs> David Yucca is a landscape architect and certified planner and also the director of the Conservation Design Forum based in Elmhurst, Illinois. Uh, I hail from the Midwest. This group has done some incredible things. David Yucca has served as a planning consultant, consultant for several rapidly growing communities in the Chicago area, developed well, land use master plans for conservation villages and urban developments in neighborhoods, and participated in the visioning, design, entitlement, and implementation process for numerous ecologically based sites, neighborhoods, and communities located primarily in the Midwest. Stay out. 